Good morning, everybody. This is Craig Moser. It is the 13th day of July, if you can believe that already, uh, 2021. Wanted to share some information with you. And uh, the news is the same. The markets are still um, grunting it out and, and moving up. Um, when we look at high points in the S&P 500, as an example, a uh, very good proxy for large U.S. stocks here in the United States. Really, the last discernible peak was either May 7th or right in here somewhere around uh, June 14th, and we have made new highs since then. They're not massively new highs, but money is flowing into the market, in part because there is a whole lot of money on the sidelines and it has to go somewhere. So uh, moving into the markets, moving into the real estate uh, sector, a lot of those companies are higher. And you can see how, how that's looking right in here. Um, that seems to be where money is going, is into the stock market and into real estate. When we look at things other than the S&P 500, for example, if we looked at the NASDAQ, um, this is tech laden, if you will. And again, uh, squeaking out some new highs right here. And as this market continues to move upwards, uh, just understand that the valuations are getting stretched some. That doesn't mean bad things are going to happen. It just means that right now, um, you know, the, the, the markets are, are trending upwards and the trend is your friend. So stay with it. When we look at other areas like gold, gold's always a question. Gold, eh, not doing anything. You know, it's making lower highs. That's typically not a great chart pattern. So right now, interest is not in the gold market. Treasuries, here's a long-term treasury, and you can see treasuries sold way off, uh, bottomed out. This is price-wise. That means yield is, is, is going up a little bit when... When um, the price goes up, yield is going down. So you can see how this is starting to work. Um, yield's going back down, I guess, is the way to look at it. Anyhow, um, treasuries uh, on the long end um, have, have recovered some. Uh, when you look at just the overall bond market, the ag, if you will, um, same sort of chart pattern. So. So rates have dropped back down and the prices have picked up a little bit. When you look, for example, at international markets. So this is developed international, EFI, or Europe, Australia, and the Far East. This is an ETF you can buy and you can see, seeing some health right there. We had a sell-off that was back around uh, uh, June the 8th. And then it's uh, staying right around its 50-day moving average. So nothing really bad happening there. Emerging markets, um, let me see, EM, let's try that. Uh, that doesn't look right. Let's try this one. Emerging markets, kind of flat, really sits about right here, which was the first, first uh, week of uh, January, and you can see that the market there in the emerging market side is is kind of flattening out and staying in a consolidation sideways sort of move. At the end of it, not a whole lot happening here. I mean, it's pretty obvious that with all of this capital on the sidelines, people loaded with cash as far as getting extra money, um, the market should be pretty good and real estate should be pretty good. Uh, that's probably going to be what's going to happen for this year. Uh, no guess that uh, there's going to be any kind of big drawdown. There might be some sort of small correction, 10 or 15 percent. I don't know, but I, I, I think that uh, with the valuations here, uh, anything that would sort of be a, a scare in the markets would be an opportunity to pick up a few shares of stocks that you really like to own. Um, so looking at what would work, uh, right now we're pretty good with the um, dividend payers. Here's a way to look at that. We use um, iShares a lot, and this is their core dividend growth strategy. It has a decent yield, 2.55%, good stocks in here. They have to raise your dividend every year. So that type of idea seems to be working really good. And these are pretty good stocks, pretty good companies in here. They have positive earnings to be able to generate 
uh, that kind of dividend payout. So anyhow, not going to bore you to tears. Just wanted to bring you up to date. If you have any questions, as always, give us a call 336-448-1086. And if not, I wish you uh, a great day.